Hey everyone, um, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video, so I figured I would do a back to school video in some ways. Um, this is my school planner. I bought it at Walmart for like 10 bucks, and I wanted to be able to have my personal planner this year away from my school planner. Um, and the reason why is because I don't want everybody at school seeing my personal business that I have going on at that moment. And I would like to keep it separate from school and house. So, um, I am going to get in here. Eventually, you guys will see me face to face. Um, I have some personal issues with the way I look at the moment. Um, I have a lot of teeth missing and I'm not comfortable showing my face on camera at the moment with them missing. It is a work in progress. Um, it's been something I've dealt with since I was a kid. And just my jeans, I have really bad teeth. So, without any further ado, I'm going to get into this. Um, when you open it up, you will see that I have stickers that I've used for the past two semesters. Um, that's my study stickers, and then I have exam stickers behind here. And then, of course, I've got page flags, post-it notes, page flags, post-it notes, um, all right here. And then you will see how I have this set up. Um, this is just a hard cover to be able to take it out if I want to so I don't have to carry all of it. Also, I have a Papermate pencil here so I could put um, appointments and stuff like that that I have with advisors or any academic stuff that's going on at school that I can get involved in. Um, and then if it gets canceled, it's easy to just erase. So I have a clip here to be able to hold up to from July to August calendar. And sorry, I have a little bit of a cold at the moment. Um, and we start classes on August 15th, which is not good. I can order my books tomorrow, thank God. And then we will start classes on the 15th. I have four classes and two of the classes have labs. And then, of course, I have this cupcake page clip here to hold all of this together. I have actually already gone through for this whole semester and wrote out all my classes that I have. And then, of course, this weekend, the weekend that we start classes, sorry, I will go through and do a master spreadsheet. And then I also have a whiteboard that I'll write all my assignments on, but I'll keep the master spreadsheet with me so that I can know what I'm doing at school, if I'm at school studying and stuff like that. And then, of course, it goes all the way through. Um, on Saturdays, I will do all my homework that I haven't done for the week. Um, if life happens to get away and I'm not able to study or anything like that, I will do that on Saturdays only. I am refusing to do any schoolwork on Sundays so that I can spend the days with my kids and my husband and, um, go from there. But as you can tell, um, in the month at a, month at a glance part, I've got certain things written in red that are important for like the financial aid checks that are mailed, if you get financial aid. Um, like the college is being closed, or spring course is open, fall break, register for classes, and then for December, of course, we have finals. The um, We'll have Thanksgiving break, of course, that's written in red, and then I have finals the 12th through the 16th, and then of course after that I'm on break until the spring. Um, I've already got some of the stuff written in here for the spring. I can't do anything with my courses part. Sorry for the camera movement, but I have to use my phone at the moment because my camera is not charging. I think it's time to buy a new one. But, of course, I've got classes begin, college is closed on the 16th, and then, you know, so on and so forth with the month at a glance. Um, back here, I actually have my full class schedule so I can look at it and be like, oh no, I have class at that time. Or I've got all this free time right here that I can study for and even up here and here I can study for all that um, I've gotten my classes written out right here and then of course I got the semester that it is and then I will put my final GPA in the end of that um, this is just tucked in here it's a simple sheet I can just pull out each semester and then this planner came with a notepad in the back and I've got two black pens here this one's almost empty and this one's full um, of course, whenever it comes time for me to get a new one, I can easily pull this out and have no issues whatsoever for the next semester. I can buy a new one, put it in there, and go if I want to. Or I can buy a whole new set if I want. But, uh, sorry for the kids talking in the background, but that's Joyce being a mom. 
But um, if you have any other questions, like if you guys want me to do a planner video once I get into school and um, actually get things going for like after the first two to three weeks, I will be more than welcome to do one. Um, I'm trying to set it up so that I can do a video on Sundays and get it uploaded on Sundays. And then you guys will be able to have new videos every week. Oh, yeah. Can you be quiet, please? I'm trying to video here. You want to say hi? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Randall. This is my youngest one. He will be four soon. He's my baby. That's my soon-to-be five-year-old daughter, and then my soon-to-be eight-year-old son in February. And then, of course, I've got two other kids, which is why I wanted to keep my personal, which is why I wanted to keep my personal planner away from my school and be able to do whatever. But I will be back on Sunday to upload another video. Thank you. Bye.